Hello guys, welcome to Coffee with Court. Um, today I'm gonna do a different kind of block. I have a lot of writing to do, so I'm gonna kind of go about my morning routine with you guys, talk about what's going on, and then uh, I'm gonna sit down and get started. So we're gonna see how this goes, because I've never done a blog like this before. All right, so I'm gonna water my plants. And then I have to get um, my snack ready for when I'm done after my couple hour writing session. And then we're gonna eat some breakfast. And then I'm gonna show you guys some cool things I bought um, for my house. Good news, um, I did send over Falling in London, the draft three, to my editor. Let me see through the screen here. Woo. <laughs> um, I did send it off to my editor. She is supposed to start on it tomorrow, and then um, we get it back in like the next couple weeks. Sorry, my plate. So that's really exciting. And then once I get that back, I just have to kind of go through her edits, and um, that shouldn't take me too, too long. And then I'll start formatting it and getting it ready. And it's definitely still have to work on the book cover. I did a little vote on some of the ones I've been working on, so I do design my book covers myself. Uh, now, I didn't before, my brother did them for me. Um, but I do, um, I'm really proud of this one. They're, uh, I upgraded to Canva Pro, and they have a remove background button, which has been my saving grace in all my teasers and in this book cover as well, because I was able to do some really cool creative stuff. So I've narrowed it down to two styles for the book cover, and I just kind of have to figure out which one best fits the story. I did a little vote and they both got a lot of votes, but they, I guess they give off like two completely different vibes. So I've got to just kind of like really look at them, think about it and figure out like which one would be best for um, what I want people to see when they're scrolling through. So I went shopping at um, Hobby Lobby last week. So we went to breakfast with my brother at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> um, and then we went to Hobby Lobby to do some um, shopping for the sofa table that I ordered months ago. And it's just kind of been sitting here um, bare since. So I wanted it to be very like farmhouse-like and I I feel like I'm I'm getting there. There's still a couple things that I'm missing that I'm not sure what they are yet, but this is what I have so far. So this here, my fiance actually found. It's like a cute little like metal windmill, which I think goes perfectly with what I was looking for. And then I found this tin, and then I just randomly in the flower section found this cute little fake lavender ball that sits perfectly on top of it. And I just like the whole like worn rustic look. And then I bought this, which was probably my favorite purchase. This actually, let me take this off for a second. This actually opens up and it's gonna be the card box for our wedding. So it's kind of like a two-fold little thing, but I think it's adorable. It's my favorite color. So that was a great addition. And then I bought this down here, this little farmhouse bucket here I bought that I think what I wanna do is just put a couple throw pillows in it. Um, I was gonna do kind of like those straw, um, oh gosh, like cornfield looking things plant wise, but because I got the lavender ball, I think I'm just gonna try and use these to um, store my throw pillows. And then this was just something I've already had, but it's now officially a bookshelf of all the books that we've been reading over the last um, few months. I'm super excited. I I feel like this is also like kind of a random thing I've just had forever. I don't really think it fits here, so I'm probably gonna switch that out once I find something else. I just haven't really found anything else yet. So that's exciting. I'm on wedding prep, you know, trying to fit into my dress. So I've been making uh, protein pudding with my salted caramel protein. And it's delicious. It's pretty easy to make too. It just takes a little while to like thicken up. 
So basically, because I don't think you can see, um, but I put everything in the mason jar here. So I do one tablespoon of chia seeds. I haven't fed my cat yet, so if you hear him, that's why he's crying. And then I do um, two scoops of the salted caramel protein. These are smaller scoops, so I think if you have like, like a larger one serving, that would be good too. And then half a cup of milk. The recipe I found called for three quarters, but it was just like soupy. So I only do half almond milk, oat milk, whatever I got in the fridge. And then just because I like presentation. So I just shake it up until everything is good and mixed. And then I just pour it in my cute little bowl. Stick it in the fridge for probably a good hour. And then I have to get my water ready for the day. So I've been trying to drink 72 ounces of water a day, which is basically this lovely pitcher here. So I have to fill it up. And I've got cucumbers and watermelon I alternate between to give it a little bit of flavor. So let's clean up this mess and I will do that next. So I am really coming along on my holiday book. I don't think there's going to be any problem with it coming out um, by like first week of December at all. But then of course, because this is just what I do, I was thinking how cool it would be to do like a cute little holiday trilogy and have each book take place um, in a different area of the Hudson Valley, just like, a, and they would all be standalones, but just like super cute holiday stories and then all like around um, the Hudson Valley because that's where the first one takes place. Um, it's taking place in Cold Spring, New York, which is in the Hudson Valley. Uh, I went to school uh, in Poughkeepsie. I went to college there and then actually interned at a record label in Cold Spring. So that's how I'm familiar with that area. Um, so my story takes place in Cold Spring, which is an adorable little town. And then I was thinking about doing two other like shorter ones. It's my dog and his toy. Um, two other like shorter stories as well. And like just kind of releasing them like rapid release. Um, but this story actually and and has ended up being a little bit longer than I was expecting it to be. So I don't know if I can pull off writing two additional ones in the time that I have left. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe we'll see. Because the other day I just sort of changed like the big climax, like the whole um, struggle, I guess, of of the story. So. Um, so I've got to like write that out and then, um, you know, finish it that way. So I'm at like 25,000 words right now and it's about to just happen and then go through to the rest of the story. So we're going to see um, what that kind of ends up turning out to be and kind of where we are time frame wise because I'm going to get the following London book back, have to edit that, um, try to get all that out, start promotions on that and um, then try to write those two extra books in between. So we're, we're going to see um, how how that all pans out, but I'm still sort of planning on it, um, but you'll definitely either way have um, a holiday book out this year. I don't have any doubts that, um, that this book I'm working on right now will be ready to go for you. So that's exciting. You just maybe might have two extra surprises along the way. Making breakfast, cutting up watermelon. Um, I went yesterday for the first time to a float spa. I don't know if you have ever heard of that, but I bought a session for last Christmas for my fiance, um, cause he's a runner and like kind of always just looking for ways to help his muscles and his joints. And so he loved it and he bought like a little membership package there. And so I went with him yesterday for the first time and it was super interesting. Uh, so you go in first and you like watch a video so you can like better understand it, but it's basically like this, pod that is full of epsom salt and water and um, you go in the room and you shower um, you just use shampoo 
and then you have like these earplugs and you like mold them to your ear and like put them in and then you get in the little pod and once the filter kind of turns off that's when your float starts and they play music for the first 10 minutes and you're just supposed to like lay back and um sit there for 60 minutes and it was really difficult <laughs> to just like sit there and clear your mind and not move for 60 minutes but it was really very interesting so the biggest fear obviously that everyone has is just like laying back and like letting yourself kind of like go and relax so they had a um little extra head support ring that i use i don't think i would have been able to do it without it um but you literally just lay back you put your head on this ring so it holds you up a little bit um your ears do go underwater for the majority which i was really nervous about but the earplugs worked really well i did not have any water getting in my ear so that was good um, and then, so for the first 10 minutes, the lights are kind of on and they're more, more like mood lights. So they're not like really bright flashy lights, but they're mood lights. And then the music plays. And then after 10 minutes, the lights um, are supposed to turn off, um, or you can turn them off yourself. I had to turn them off myself. Now the pod itself, you do have to like close yourself in because you don't have to close yourself in, but you're supposed to, and then you're supposed to turn the lights off and it's just supposed to be like pitch black and you're just supposed to lay there. That was terrifying for me at first. So I left the lights on for a little bit. And then when I finally had the courage to turn off the lights, um, I panicked for a little and had to just kind of like breathe through it. And then eventually I was like asleep. And um, I, woke, I woke up from like a noise. And um, then I kind of just, they tell you, um, cause you're not, Obviously like when everything's like super quiet, that's when your mind is kind of racing. So the whole goal of this is to just um, trick your body into thinking that it's like fast asleep and slow your mind down. Um, but it was really very relaxing. I am just not the type of person that can just sit still for 60 minutes. So it was definitely a challenge. I think I made it about 45 minutes before I got like up, which they say usually around the 40 minute mark, that's kind of when you want to like give up and get out, but like don't do it because your body will thank you. I tried really hard, but um, you know, there were times where I was like, nope, I'm done, I'm done. And I'm like, nope, just keep lying here. And um, then I got up and I just kind of um, sat cross-legged and um, did a little meditation. And then I laid back down for like the last five minutes um, and tried to relax again. So I almost made it the full 60 minutes without getting up. Um, so it was really, really interesting. When you're laying there, they say too that you can kind of feel all the areas um, of stress in your body. And that is 100% true. I could totally feel it in like um, parts of my legs and my neck and my shoulders. Uh, so it was really interesting. I don't know if that's something I would do on a regular basis just because um, it was just really challenging and then just having my ears below water for like such a long period of time. But, um, but I felt incredibly relaxed when I was done. And um, like while I was in it, it was just kind of like this huge, I mean, weight, I guess, lifted off my shoulder and I was able to like control my mind to just really relax. So like when I was done and woke up, um, I was incredibly relaxed. I went to bed super early last night. So just for like the benefits alone of that, like it was, it was well worth my 60 minutes of my time for sure. I try to do like a very, like just right now, I'm doing like a very loose um, guidelines of the 21 day fix diet. Um, just to sort of accelerate getting in shape for the wedding. Um, so they say that um, I can have two containers of fruit technically a day. So I like to have it for breakfast. So I'm gonna have some watermelon and then I have a waffle, which technically counts as a yellow container. I haven't 100% been sticking to it um, the whole time, but as closely as I possibly can. My next dress fitting is August 4th. So my dress fits, I'm not really worried about that right now, but you know, I guess every bride is always like, how much better can I look in my wedding dress? So that's where I am right now. So August 4th is um, my next fitting. So I'm just trying to kind of do the best I can until then. My fiance is actually out right now. He left at about 5.30 this morning. 
to do an ultra marathon, uh, which is 34 miles for him. So he's, um, yeah, running 34 miles today. I have no idea how he does it, but he is one of the most dedicated people I have ever met. Um, so he should be back sometime this afternoon, which gives me a couple solid hours of quiet. I'm gonna lock myself in the office because if I didn't, my dog would want to help me. Um, and I'm gonna get to writing so that I can be ready for when my London book comes back to switch my focus onto that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Sorry, it was a little like, whew as I'm trying to run on deadlines here and, and get everything done and still keep my house intact. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye.